Psalm 4. This psalm exhorts man not to shame his fellow and to neither speak nor listen to gossip and slander. Envy not prosperity of the wicked in this world. Rather rejoice and say, If it is so for those who anger him, how much better it will be for those who serve him. For the leader with string instrument, Mis Morla David, when I call, answer me, God of my righteousness. You who freed me when I was in distress, be gracious to me and hear my prayer. Sons of men, how long will my glory be shamed, in that you love vanity and seek falsehood, Salah? But know that God has set apart the pious for himself. God will hear when I call unto him. Tremble and do not sin. Speak in your hearts upon your beds and be still, Salah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and trust in God. Many are they that say, Who would show us good? Raise upon us the light of your countenance, O God. You place gladness in my heart. More than when corn and wine abounded, in peace I will both lay down and sleep, because you, God, alone settle me in safety. Hi, everyone. So now it's time to get into the commentary of uh, Tehillim 4, so that's Psalm 4. And it says, uh, When did David composed Psalm 4, and the Malvin says it was when the cynic suggested that the three-year famine in which David's kingdom was experiencing had resulted from David's sin. God subsequently informed David that the famine was actually a response to Shaul's brutal murder of the Gibbonites, that when uh, the Gibbonites were appeased, then rain began to fall. So now the Midrash Telim says about verse 4-2 that uh, when David said, when I call, answer me, what he meant was master of the universe, even if a wicked Jew prays to you, answer him at once, so that all the other nations will not say all the gods are the same. To which God replies, by your life, even before the wicked man calls me, I will answer him, but his prayer needs to be a sincere one. So now in verse 5, it says, tremble and do, and do not sin. Um, and and we, the question is asked, what advice does that verse give to us in order to avoid the sin? In the Talmud, it's brought down that a person should always incite the good inclination against the evil inclination as the verse says, tremble and do not sin. If that works, well and good. If not, let him study the Torah and the verses that say, speak in your hearts. If that works, well and good. If not, let him recite Shema as the verse sets upon your bed. Um, if that works well and good, and if not, let him um, remind himself that on the day he will die, the verse says, and be still Salah. And that's according to Brachos uh, 5a. And that's found in the text of Ein Yaakov. So now finally, in Metsuros David, it asks, how did David achieve happiness? And this was uh, brought down from verses 7 through 8. And it says, uh, there are many who are always looking for more, saying, who would show us good? But you, God, place gladness in my heart that I was satisfied with whatever I had more than when there were corn and wine abounded. And that concludes today's reading.